Recent updates to the New South Wales Department of Education Behavioural Policy mean that there are some changes in the way students are placed on suspension and how that's recorded in Central. Put simply, all suspensions must now be created as a follow-up action to an incident. In this video, we'll take a look at the settings to make this work, the need for a formal caution, rules on suspension duration, gaining approval to override the rules, and letter formats. It's important to remember that the settings you'll see in this video will be configured for you. This video will help you understand why these new settings have been implemented. Navigate to Wellbeing Setup and then Suspensions. This setting here needs to be set to Yes. This setting has always been here, but it's now a requirement that it be set to Yes for department schools. To make implementing suspensions simpler, Central has created a negative incident category where the follow-up action to an incident is a suspension. You can see that category here. When I click on Edit, you'll see the list of negative incidents. Scrolling down, you can see that the follow-up action is indeed a suspension. Now, you might have also set up custom categories in the past where suspensions were a follow-up action to an incident. Central now advises schools not to use custom categories for suspensions, rather to only use this category and the incidents within this category for issuing suspensions. In most cases, a student must have a formal caution in place before they can be placed on suspension. The formal caution runs for 50 days, and students can be placed on suspension during that time if their behaviour warrants it, but they must first be on a formal caution. Let's take a look at an example to see how this works. From the Wellbeing Home screen, I'll create an incident using the Negative Suspensions category. I'll make this one for Aggressive Behaviour. Search for a student and the option for suspension becomes available. You can see here the first option is for a formal caution. If I try to issue a suspension without this formal caution in place, by choosing one of these other options, an error message will appear, notifying me that a formal caution is missing. There is one policy exception to this rule. If the school has determined that the student is an immediate threat to another person, then this option here can be checked. This will trigger an approval process, and we'll come back to that shortly. Now let's take a look at some rules around suspensions. Navigate back to Wellbeing Setup and then Suspensions. All students, regardless of year level, may be suspended for three times per year. Students can be suspended for a maximum number of 45 days in a school year. The exception here is for K-2 students, where the number is 30 days. According to the New South Wales Department policy, suspensions may not be consecutive. This number here indicates that there must be at least one day between suspensions. Related to that is that non-teaching days must now be included in the suspension count. This could include things such as staff development days. Scrolling down, the suspensions have further rules on duration. And you can see those here. For example, with this one, the duration for K-2 is 5 days, whereas the duration for 3-12 to is 10 days. Scrolling back up, you'll notice this option here to Allow Override with Approval. I mentioned this a moment ago. This function allows you to override the restrictions on suspensions, but it does trigger an approval process. Approvals can be given to override the restrictions by the Director Educational Leadership, or DEL, for your school. This is where you'll need to enter the contact details for your DEL. When a suspension is created that requires approval from the DEL, it will appear in a list of suspensions pending approval and a message will be sent to the DEL requesting consultation on that incident. Navigate back to Wellbeing. You'll find this new menu item here called Suspensions Pending Approval. From this page, the suspension can be approved or rejected. Please note that this is a manual process as DELs do not have access to Central. When you click on Approve, you have a few options to approve the suspension. And here you'll find this one which allows you to resolve the suspension with DEL approval. At this point, the child is suspended and the attendance records are updated. Finally, there are several new letter formats that come with the new policy. Navigate to Wellbeing Setup and then Letter Repository. 
you'll find the new letters in the repository. For example, this first one here. To make them available for use in your school, you will need to import them. You can import them into whatever letter group you like, and you might like to create a letter group specifically for this purpose. As an example, I'll click on Manage Letters, and you can see here that the new letters have been imported into a letter group named Suspensions Expulsions. The letters are standard letters, and there is some scope to edit the layouts after they have been imported.